Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem. Before we proceed, we are to get the full solution to the problem. Okay, the full solution. And this means that um, we are getting three solutions. Because the highest power is three, we are expected to have three solutions. 4y to the power of 3 equals 4. What if I divide directly by 4? That is okay, right? So we now have y to the power of 3 equals 1. If you take the key root of both sides now, you're going to have just one solution. And the question says we should solve it completely, having the three solutions. What do we do then? This is y to the power of 3 equals 1 is the same as 1 to the power of 3. What I've done is to make sure that they both have the same exponent. Now, take this to the left as we have y to the power of 3 equals, okay, y to the power of 3 minus 1 to the power of 3 equals 0. Now, we have difference of cube on the left hand side. Just as we have difference of two squares, we can have difference of cube. Just for a reminder, if you have from a to the power of 2 minus b to the power of 2, this is called difference of two squares. And if you can remember, this is a plus b into a minus b. Now, what if we now have difference of two of three um, difference of cube? like a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3. You know, that is exactly what we have in this um, problem. This will now be the same thing as a minus b. Then in the other bracket, we have a squared plus ab plus b squared. Okay, then you close it. This is difference of two squares, and this is difference of um, two cubes. Now, for the difference of cubes, our a now is going to be y, y is a, and then our, what do we have? 1 is going to stand as our b. So let's substitute into this. a minus b will now be y minus 1. Okay, that will be in the first bracket. In the second bracket, we have a squared, that will be y squared, then plus ab, that will be y times 1, that will give y, then plus b squared is 1 squared, and that is 1. We close this, and then we equate everything to 0. And then um, from here, we can now equate everything to zero since we are multiplying two terms to get zero y minus one equals zero or y squared plus y plus one this is a quadratic equation or oh, by the way this is still a quadratic expression but if i equate it to zero it now becomes a quadratic equation now this is linear and um, from here we'll have one solution, 0 plus 1, and our y is equal to, um, we have 1. So this is a real solution to the equation. Now, from this quadratic equation, we are expected to have additional two solutions. Let me do it over here. We have y squared plus y plus 1 equals 0. Now, let's use the formula method for this. Our y will be minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac. Everything is over 2 times a. y will now be... By the way, before you proceed to substitute, you need to get your a, b, c, right? Our a, okay, so our a is going to be 1, that is the coefficient of y squared. Our b 
our b is equal to 1 again, the coefficient of y, then our c is also 1. So everything is 1, 1, 1. Now let's proceed from here. Our minus b becomes minus 1, plus or minus, then b squared becomes 1 squared, then minus 4 times 1 times 1, because a and c are both 1. Then we divide by 2 times 1, which is still 2. Now, y from here will now be minus 1 plus or minus. Then 1 squared is 1 minus 4 times 1 times 1 is 4. We are dividing all of this by 2. So that if we continue, y will now be minus 1 plus or minus square root of negative 3. 1 minus 4 is negative 3, and we divide all of this by 2. So let's continue from here. We have um, y equals minus 1 plus or minus square root of negative 3 divided by 2. Now, because we have square root of negative number, we're not going to have um, a real solution, but we can still proceed with this. This is y equals minus 1 plus or minus square root of 3 times square root of negative 1. Remember, square root of 3 times square root of negative 1 is square root of negative 3. So I separated them so that if you want to get square root of 3, you can get it with your calculator. Divide this by 2. Now, to continue... Our y will now be minus 1 plus or minus square root of 3 times square root of negative 1 is imaginary. So we'll just write i for it. Then we divide by 2. We can equally multiply this by this. So that y will now be minus 1 plus or minus root 3 times i can be written as i root 3. Then we divide this by 2. So that our y now, from here, this is a 2 in 1 solution. So our y is minus 1 plus i root 3 divided by 2, right? Or we have y to be equal to minus 1 minus i root, root 3 divided by 2. So this is another solution and this is as well. So the first solution we got is y equals 1. This is the only real solution. These right here and this are imaginary solutions. Thank you for watching. If you love this video, subscribe to my channel.